We drag the app to the desktop. You can hear the audio. And we will double click. I'm going to log on. And here I am running Tweety, an OS X only application inside of Windows 7 and a virtual machine, as you can see right here. So it's pretty cool if you always wanted to run OS X but you don't but you just don't want a Mac or you can't afford one or something like that. Here you go. Okay, so I was talking about graphics a little earlier. You're not gonna get 3D hardware acceleration in the virtual machine. Now what this means is that various animations such as maybe dragging a window it's a little bit slow, going through cover slow it or cover f cover slow. Cover flow isn't as fast as it could be. We'll make it bigger and then we'll go through it. You can see that it's pretty laggy. Um, also running oops, let me make this smaller now. Let me get some other apps open. Running expose is pretty choppy too, so I'm gonna push the button. And you couldn't even see the animation, it just goes right right to it. So pretty much animations, uh, 3D graphics and stuff, these sorts of things are going to be slow. Also, there's going to be some applications that aren't going to run, such as iMovie, because it requires this, the, the sort of graphics acceleration. So if you install it and you try to open it, it's going to say you don't have QECI, which is Quartz Extreme, and Core Image, which is required. It's just going to say that those two things aren't supported and it's not going to run. So that's pretty much it. Here we have Tweety. Let me get some other applications to show you guys. Oops. Yeah, because usually Command L goes to the address bar when you're in OS X. And since we're in a virtual machine in Windows, that locks the computer. Okay, so all the applications are downloaded. Let me center it in, on the desktop. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at system preferences really quick. Let's see if any of the screensavers will load. Yeah, I, apparently screensavers won't work in the virtual machine. And here's the reason why. So let's change the wallpaper to something else really quick. Here's the original leopard. Okay, so here's the applications I downloaded. Go ahead and open up Echo Fawn. I agree. Let's go ahead and open Beak too. And Adium. Let's bring up Tweety since we already since we already set it up. Let me just log into my Google Talk account. These people just won't stop calling me. Okay, so only thing left is Google Chrome. And here we go. We have Adium, Google Chrome, Beak, Echophon, and Tweety. And four out of the five programs are OS X only. So they're all running, and they are all running just fine. Scrolling is perfectly smooth. Sort of, <laughs> but uh, you always have to remember it's a virtual machine with no hardware accelerated GPU. Chrome seems fine. So let's go ahead and quit out of all these. 
let's try and open them up as fast as I can. So they're still bouncing around on the dock. And there you go. So that is pretty much it with this video showing Snow Leopard 10.6.2 running in a virtual machine under Windows 7. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the virtual <clears throat> virtual machine down. Just the Apple menu shut down. And it's off. It takes a little while to turn on. It turns off really quick. It's fairly speedy for being in a virtual machine. And the only thing that doesn't work properly is hardware, uh, the hardware video. And there's probably nothing that's going to be done that would actually help this out. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, go to the blog post first because your, your question may already be answered there. If it's not, go ahead and leave a post there or in the comment section for this video. And that's it. We'll see you next time.